What's up guys, Will up here and welcome to Mongoose Monday. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing good and let's get right into some news. Microsoft has confirmed that it's adding Call of Duty Black Ops to its backwards compatibility catalog on Xbox One, which is a good thing if you're a big fan of that game. Microsoft currently has a compatibility games list of over 170 games. In other news, Microsoft has confirmed it's going to be increasing its price of Xbox Gold in select countries. Austria, Hungary, Israel, South Africa, Sweden, and Turkey will see a price of Microsoft's online gaming service increase on June 20th. And from a quote from them, it says, We occasionally update pricing in a given market to provide a balance of service and value, and in some instances, meet currency fluctuations within the region, and we'll be adjusting the price of Xbox Live Gold subscription in small number of markets on June 20th, 2016. Microsoft also went on to say, We do so always keeping in mind that our goal is to offer our members the premium gaming and entertainment service at a fair price. Now, I currently live in the United States, and I do feel that the Xbox Gold Live subscription is actually fair, with it being around $60 US per year, but, uh, and, and that is the, the main reason I think that is because of all the games you get per month, you usually get pretty good games. Sometimes you get crappy games, but a lot of the times you get really actually very good games from the Xbox Gold games per month thing that they give away for free. EA Studios has finally come out and explaining why they did not include a story mode in the first Star Wars Battlefront. According to Patrick Soderlund, it was about time constraints. In order to make sure that Star Wars Battlefront launched in time for The Force Awakens, the decision was made to abandon any real semblance of a story mode. And on paper it makes good business sense and I can see why they did it, but it's probably also the reason why they only have a 75 rating on Metacritic, which Soderlund goes on to say he is not happy about. However, he went on to promise that in 2017's Star Wars Battlefront sequel, it will cure the previous game's lukewarm critical reception, which will probably mean it will have a real story mode to it, which is good. Even the worst Call of Duty game has an hour <laughs> has an hour story mode, so at least they there's something in there. So there's a lot of people that probably would like a rich story mode, so that's good that they're going to finally do it. Batman fans get ready because a remastered Batman Arkham City and Batman Arkham Asylum is coming in a bundle called Batman Returns to Arkham. And the graphics have been redone in Unreal Engine 4. Uh, it will be on sale on July 26th of this year and it will be $50. Now this game was originally done in Unreal Engine 3 and it is very noticeable difference and here are some screenshots. As you guys can see, the screenshots speak for themselves. They look amazing. I actually own both of these games on the PC, and it's got me kind of thinking about maybe buying it. I'm not sure. I probably won't, but for anybody who's new to the series that wants to play, it's a definite, it, it's a no-brainer that you should buy the game. And now it's time to hear from you guys, and remember to follow me at Hybrid Mongoose on Twitter. And the comment of the week goes to Unidentified, and he commented on the first Mongoose Monday and said, Mondays just became better. The wango meter broke because of this. <laughs> and I, I, he goes unidentified, but I, he's my buddy on Twitter. I know who he is. So thank you. Thank you for uh, always watching and the support is, is amazing. Some other comments that I noticed is a comment from Giant Bacon on my f first Flame in the Flood video. He says, great video, bud. Insane gameplay. Keep rocking. Excited for the next one. Thank you very much. Uh, Mini Pepper commented on the on the fifth Force video. Said, "Dude, this is the kind of thing I want to do with my channel. I just never knew how to start. I'm hoping you'll be around for a long time to come. Thank you, Mini Pepper, for watching. I am going to be around forever, forever, <laughs> for as long as I could stand it. But I'm going to I'm going to be here for a very long time. No worries there. Also, another comment on the same video. Team SDF said, "Love the video and the intro." is kick ass thank you thank you so much i'm glad you guys are watching and enjoying the videos uh keep commenting if you want your chance to be featured in the next 
comment of the week. Make sure to comment on my videos, like, and subscribe. Uh, I have a new, new upload schedule. It's in the about section on the YouTube channel. Also, I included my PC specs because they weren't there before. So that is going to do it for this edition of Mongoose Monday. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.